What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Java programming class and today I'm going to run through projects one through six of my exam for today. I'm not going to go too in depth on the code. I'm just going to show you the code, explain a little bit of what it does and run the program and go from there. So if you like this video, like, subscribe and everything else. So let's get started. All right, so here we got project one. Complete the following below using a scanner class. Make sure to have the input for each personal uh, input for each personal information. Write a program that displays the following information on each separate line. So your name, your city address, zip code, telephone number, college major. All right, so let's go into NetBeans, and we will pull up. There we go. All right, so we'll go to project one. Okay. So project one, we got our scanner, public static void main string, ARGS. Then here's where we're gonna print in the output what we're asking the user to input. Enter name, enter address, city, so on and so forth. And then after, once we enter all our information, it'll display our personal information or whatever information we put. So let's go ahead and run that. Enter name. So let's say Jake. Address one two three. Main. Oh shoot! I can't type today. Street. City. Santa Ana. State. CA. Zip code nine thousand. Enter. Telephone number nine nine nine. college major comp sci and there you have it our output displays a name address city state zip code telephone number college major computer science etc so we're good with that one all right so now we're going to jump on to project number two continue with project number one use j option option pane class for input and output on separate lines. So we'll go here to project two. Uh, same thing except we're using J option pane. As you can see here, string name, enter your name. But this, what this does is basically it's gonna do a pop up and the user will enter their information. Same thing as last time. So let's go ahead and run it. So run file, as you can see. Address one two three Main Street City we'll call it City State CA Zip code nine thousand or nine hundred whatever I put there one 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 oh my god I can't type today Comp Science and there's our output as you can see everything we entered will pop up in this message box and that's what uh, J option pane does all right so we'll scroll on down to project number three complete the following below do not need a scanner class for input so sales prediction the East Coast sales division of a company generates 60 percent 65 percent of total sales based on that percentage write a program that will predict how much the East Coast division will generate if the company has 8.3 million in sales this year and use the value 0.65 to represent 65 percent so we'll jump into NetBeans this is project number three all right no scanner or anything in here so it's basically got my constants, the 8.3 mil, that's the total sales, and then the percentage, 0.65. So now we're going to calculate, and we calculate the sales, total sales by the percentage, and display the predicted sales for the East Coast Division system outprint um, line. This is what will print when we run it. So let's go ahead and do that real quick before my computer dies. And there you have it. Predicted East Coast sales is $5.395 million. 
All right, let's jump on to the next one. Project number four. Complete the following below using scanner class for input. Ingredient adjuster, a cookie recipe calls for the following ingredients, 1.5 cups of sugar, 1 cup of butter, 2.75 cups of flour. The recipe produces 48 cookies with these amounts of the ingredients. Write a program that asks the user how many cookies he or she wants to make, then displays the number of cups of each ingredient needed for the specified number of cookies. Please enter 48 for the number of cookies. All right, let's go on over to NetBeans real quick. And this will be for project four. Project four, we have our scanner, public class, static void, constants for the recipe. This is a con constants it told us for a recipe of 48 cookies. So for 48 cookies, we want 1.5 cups of sugar, one cup of butter, and then 2.75 cups of flour. Create a scanner object for the user input. So let's create this for the user's input. Ask the users how many cookies they want to make, and this is what it'll output. Uh, we don't really need this, so go ahead and take that out. Uh, all right, so we read the user's input, then calculate the amount for each of the ingredients, and it calculates with this formula the number of cookie times sugar per cookie times per butter per cookie times flour per cookie. And this is what I'll put for number of cookies plus, yeah, you get the idea. Let's run it. All right, number of cookies we want to make, let's say 100. And there we go. Simple as that. For 100 cookies, you'll need 3.125 cups of sugar, 2.083 cups of butter, 5.729 cups of flour. And if you really wanted to, you could probably edit the format for the decimal percentage so that way it doesn't come out to such a larger number but we'll save that for another video all right so now we're gonna roll on to project number four write a program that will accept three whole numbers and display the number and the average of the three numbers use a scanner class for input then transfer the output to a text file to so we gotta so basically as soon as we run it, enter our, our numbers, and it generates the average. It wants it and put it and saved into a file. So let's go ahead and jump back into net. All right, and I do believe this is project five. So we'll need a couple things imported, file writer, IO exception, and a scanner. File writer is basically to put it into a text file or whatever file you want to save it as. So we got those those in and then input three numbers enter the first whole number second whole number third whole number this is what it will ask the user and it will calculate the average with this formula number one plus number two plus number three divided by three pretty simple and then obviously this will display our results the number entered and the average and this is the file location where I wanted to go I mean this right here is a location where I want it to go and this is a type of file it'll be a text file so write the output let's go ahead and run this alright first whole number is say 4 let's say 9 for the second one and then we'll say 10 for the third one and number is entered and here's the average and this is where it's saved to so now that we got that done let's pull up the text file. Alright, and here's the text file. As you can see, numbers entered 4, 9, and 10, and you got your average right there. So, which means that my program is working, and obviously, if we wanted to, we can output more information on there, but more on that in another video because I'm trying to keep this as short as possible. Alrighty, then, so now we're going to move on to project number six. We'll go to project number six. Complete the following is a scanner for input. Enter 100 for the retail price. An electronics company sells circuit boards at a 40% profit. If you know the retail price of the circuit board, you can calculate its profit with the following formula. Profit equals retail price times 0 0.4. Write a program that asks the user for a retail price of a circuit board. 
calculates the amount of profit earned for that product and dis displays the results on screen. Let's jump into NetBeans real quick. We're moving on to project number six. Let's close this out and we'll go to project number six. So you can see it's pretty simple and um, they're basically just asking for um, the profit. It's just pretty simple calculation. Retail price times 0 0.4 and we'll go ahead and run that file. So as the instructions were asking us, they want 100 to 100 and the profit earned for the product was forty dollars and that's all there is to it so we'll go ahead and stop so there you have it if you like this video please like press the like button if you have any comments leave them in the comment section below other than that um i hope this is this added value to your day um subscribe if you want to see more and that's pretty much it i'm out